Somewhere between Jared Goff and Cam Newton, eh? I, geographically, that's accurate. <laughs> Goff plays out west, Cam out east, X right in the middle. Sure. I mean, almost complexion-wise, that's, I, I'd say, somewhat accurate. Yeah, yeah. As far as stylistically, though, yeah. I I can't give him that. I, I the How is Dak as a rusher? Because when he says Cam, that's what he's talking about. Cam as a runner of the football. And Goff as a passer. And Goff as a passer. So Dak's never had a game with more than 45 yards rushing in his career. Never? Never. Cam had 59 in the first quarter. In his career? <laughs> oh, first quarter. In the first quarter oh, okay. yesterday. Yeah, yeah, All right, as far as Dak is a passer, he's been under 200 yards in seven of his last nine games played. Goff's been over 200 yards in seven of his last nine games played and only under 200 three times in the last two years. I Listen, I, I understand what Jerry Jones is trying to do here, which is take two guys – one guy that runs and is big, and one guy that he saw play the night before in Jared Goff, right, and huge. say, it's and, like point, and right? say, this is what it reminds me of. I, it was to me, it was a funny comparison because see, this past week, w when you were traveling, you were traveling on your way to do the game. I did a hit on a local television station in Dallas, and the anchor there said, leading into the game, asked me, you know, Dak Prescott. Is he kind of like a young Cam Newton? And I tried to be respectful because the guy, the guy's a local news guy. Yes. He doesn't cover sports every day. But I had mentioned to our staff afterwards, I was like, man, this guy is asking me, is he Cam Newton? Like, that they, they have nothing in common. He's like, been listening to Jerry. Right. right. <laughs> or Jerry's been listening to him. I mean, Cam is one of, not one of, Cam's the greatest rushing quarterback we've ever seen. Now, he has limitations elsewhere, but as far as the ability to effectively run the football, as a quarterback, Cam's the best we've seen. And the other two quarterbacks we compared him to, one, a good friend of mine, Randall Cunningham, who I played in Philly with, mm -hmm. and then later when he became a pocket passer there in Minnesota, and a friend of the show, Michael Vick. Yeah. All right? Those three guys in the history of this league, this is the last, the last 25 years, yeah. those guys are the most effective runners with the football. And this is the reason I really push back on the Cam comparison is we would never th – this is – it's not racist, but it's racial. There's nothing about Dak's game reminds you of Cam, except he's a big black quarterback. But he's not nearly as big as Cam, and he's not athletic as Cam. And so it, it, we can keep talking about different things Dak reminds us of. The reality is Dak over the last year plus has reminded us of a mid-round backup quarterback who was thrust into a starting job a who right who. now doesn't look ready. Give me ready. a name who he think he, he who does Dak remind you of right now? Right now, a guy who sh who's a borderline yeah. NFL starter.